it definitely need to be sliced and this is a great opportunity for someone to do that well, well i think uh, just may i come in here i had said in my statements which you referred to that one of the ways of cleaning up is to ensure that no politician and no cinema uh, person gets into this game at all it is dealt with professionals who are uh, concerned with persons. i want to go across to show by day because several politicians jumped in and said let's ban the ipl can that at all be a solution Swa subramaniam swami says it's, it's opposed to indian culture ban the ipl shut it down that's not the only reason national security too no I, i've been i've been following I've been following the debate very closely. Unfortunately, uh, sitting in Mumbai, I haven't seen the clips of the lady and the assault on her. But the point is that the IPL was never about cricket. We were deluding ourselves that it had anything even remotely to do with cricket. It was always an entertainment platform and it did attract movie stars who got the valuation up. So if Shailendra is worri worried about the brand getting eroded, I can understand his concerns. I'm sure he represents a lot of the owners and their interests. But when we look at the format of the IPL itself and what it represents, it is, represents nothing but glamour and entertainment at its rawest. It is a very volatile kind of a game uh, that has been designed specifically to attract exactly the kind of audience it is attracting. If hundreds and millions and thousands of Indians are watching it uh, and responding to it and loving every single controversy and everybody is capitalizing on the sure. controversy including all the owners and the players, then I think we need to ask ourselves uh, do they also not represent what is Indian culture to start with? I'm afraid this is modern Indian culture. This is exactly what the IPL and all that's gone on in the last few days is reflecting. We are holding up a mirror to our own rot in our own society. It is Indian culture today at its worst, at its uh, probably at its grottiest. And let's just learn to live with it because the IPL is not a boarding school where you oh, need a strict awesome. principal or a headmaster who will say, okay guys, and let's appoint class monitors and let's clean it all up. And let's wrap everybody on the knuckles and get them to no, behave. No, 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 That's not what's going to do. Shailendra, for, right for all you know, the interest in the yeah. IPL might actually skyrocket <laughs> post these controversies because now everybody's going to come back and say, yeah, okay, let's now, find now out what's happening <laughs> in the IPL. But is there a concern that it could end up becoming a bit no. like the WWF, WWE? It's watched with a lot of you yes. know, passion, but yeah. people know it's surreal. They know this is not really you know happening as you as they would want you to believe. It's all fixed. Rahul, I just have a very, very important point, whether it's politics, Bollywood, or now cricket. I mean, all of these uh, 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 platforms have their level of controversy, whether it's Madhur Bhandarkar in a rape case, or Bollywood being funded by Dubai, and politics has its own scams, for God's sake. I mean, it's breaking news every night. Now, having said this, the, 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 the issue of banning it, I mean, for, for God's sake, it makes it very regressive. We need to look to move forward. We are, we are a massive country. We are a country of one billion people. We should start thinking like that now. Stop thinking like a million heads. We are a billion heads together. No, but Shailendra, we recently show, seen show our on. politicians are very dangerous. Huh? They, they say yeah. something which people outside don't even believe is something which can be said, like ban cartoons and then suddenly oh, parliament passes let, a resolution. All cartoons are banned. You know, so anything can happen, so you need to take Dr. Subramaniam Swami, Lalu, everybody else very seriously. For all you know, IPL might actually get banned. <laughs> No, but uh, Rahul, I want to address the point of WWE, and I that is a very, very valid job. point that you've brought up. I'm being honest. I mean, what's real sport and what's choreographed sport? IPL is really running on a very thin line there, to be honest. The audience is very soon not going to start believing the cricket in IPL, and that's always been the issue. And I'm going back to the single point. It is always starts from leadership. If IPL gets the right leadership, it's not a bad product. It's a three billion dollar business. It's not bad. The viewers are watching. But the right leader will bring the right values and and right cricketing spirit into the sport. That is the necessity of today. Okay, I want to go across to Rohan Gavaskar. Is it becoming a choreographed sport where everybody knows it's a bit like the WWE? You are around, <coughs> but everybody's watching it. They're having popcorn, grabbing a beer, but nobody believes it. You know, it's not for real. Well, no, I don't think it's a choreographed sco uh, sport because, you know, I, I, I don't give into that. I, I'm not saying spot fixing doesn't happen. We've just seen uh, five young cricketers uh, give in to the temptation of spot fixing, agreeing to, you know, bowl a no ball uh, when they play IPL. But to choreograph an entire game, it's, it's very, very tough. It's to, you know, to fix a game is very tough. I don't think that happens. I may be naive over here. I played a season of IPL uh, uh, in the third, third edition of IPL. 
and not once did I get the feeling that there was something amiss. Uh, so look, I don't think it, when you watch a game, I'm just talking about the game, the, the 40 overs that are played out on the field, uh, that can't be fixed. Everything else around it, well, who knows, uh, it may be fixed, may not be fixed, to get eyeballs, to get some, uh, the TRPs up. But the actual game, the actual sport of, you know, bat versus ball for 40 overs, I don't think that's fixed. China, would people start disbelieving what they see, think of it as a tamasha? They might still watch it, but they only think of it as a tamasha, they don't take it seriously. There are a couple of points here. First, you have match fixing. Then you have money laundering. Then you have a rape case. Then you have people being aggressive. Then there are questions of whether people are drinking, smoking, etc. All in all, if we're focusing on cricket, surely you can have cricket and positive entertainment. You don't need to have cricket and sleaze and prostitution and all the negatives in society. I think that Kirti Azad's demand is absolutely justified where he says there needs to be a high power committee that looks into matters of IPL. If you don't have the leadership to deliver in a sport such as cricket, you're going to have stories like this every single day. Today it's a girl accusing Siddharth Malia. Who knows whether it's true or untrue but the point of the matter is eventually he is an owner of a team and this is a story whether it's a cricketer who's involved in match fixing whether it's Shah Rukh Khan who is aggressive why was he provoked was he not provoked are the MCA officials to be blamed are the BCCI officials to be blamed all the questions have multiple answers and unless you have the leadership and political will to establish who is guilty and who is not we will only be debating and the game will go on well you know you mentioned okay. Shah Rukh Khan being banned in the midst of all of this, we've seen Mamta Banerjee jump into the debate. Say, Shah Rukh is Bengal's brand ambassador. How can Mumbai go and ban him? So this has become an out-and-out -out Mumbai versus Bengal issue now, where Mamta Banerjee has jumped in. So I want to you know, deal with the issue of Shah Rukh being banned just for a moment and ask uh, Shobha Rahul, this. why is he banned? <laughs> why is he banned? Why is he banned? I mean, what's the... I mean, where is BCCI? In all Mumbai this. Cricket Association I mean, says that he got a, physically uh, got abused. Our officials were there, there no and therefore they fighting. banned him for five years. You have him. Do you think, uh, Shaina, that's success? But isn't it fair that a father would protect a 13-year-old child who's being manhandled? And if he's gone on record saying that those children were only playing on the side and they would have come out if you just told us to leave, what was the need to get aggressive or provoke somebody? Let's view it in totality rather than dissecting this issue and making him into this uh, drunkard, habitual offender, which he wasn't. But Shobha Day has a hand up. I want to listen to what she has to say. Do you think the five-year ban is excessive, ma'am? Yeah, no, no, no. I, no, I, I, no, 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 I, no, no, forget whether the five-year ban is valid or not, but I think this whole business of a 13-year-old child being manhandled came as an afterthought. Yeah, what true. we saw that's on right. the clips and what everybody around the stadium, who was, who, the people who were there, there was no question at that stage when he was out of control and abusive of uh, him accusing them of manhandling uh, either his own child or any other child. I think this was a, a, a much later strategy to try and justify whatever had happened. You know, this whole thing is being the blown into a very ugly spat where the uh, parochialism that's being brought into it Rahul. and uh, now with Mamta Banerjee getting into it, at the end Rahul, of it all, it's only about money and nothing else. Uh, I, I heard yesterday to my astonishment that, you know, he, there's a, he's such a big national icon. There are billions of dollars riding on him and how can we blame him for losing his school? I heard that from a co-panelist. So if it's only about money and it's only about billions of dollars, then icons should behave like icons, Absolutely. for heaven's sake and behave responsibly, whether it's him, Siddharth Malia or anybody else. The same rule because applies Shaina across the board. seems to believe that Shah Rukh was provoked that he's not at fault, but surely as a celebrity, he ought to have laid the right example, China. No. 
absolutely correct. Maybe he should have handled it in a different format. But the fact of the matter is the photographs were sure. taken only after Shah Rukh Khan came onto the stadium. When the children were playing, nobody even said anything. The children went and complained to the father saying that the security guards are pushing us out and manhandling us. The fact of the matter is any father, irrespective of being a celebrity or not, would have gone and responded. Should he have responded differently? Probably yes. But to say that, you know, this is a reason to ban Shah Rukh Khan from entering Vangade Stadium. Please, Rahul, come on. This point. is an argument that could have happened between any two people. There was no physical fight. There was no, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, contrary to what everyone's trying to project. He had not come there drunk. He had come from his residence after the 19th over. No, I think that... Shailendra wants to come in as Shah Rukh become a pawn in a political game, yeah. Shailendra. You know, you've got Vyasra yes. Deshmukh yeah. saying no... MCA will not allow Shah Rukh in. You know, you got Rajiv Shukla saying, no, MCA can't take its decision. That's BCCI not will not tell MCA what to do. Exactly. You got Mamta Banerjee jumping in and saying, no, he's Bengal's ambassador. He can do no wrong. <laughs> so it's all actually about politics. And theatre of the yeah. absurd. <coughs> actually, uh, Rahul, just, just to go back a bit in history, I there, think there, there were issues no with Bollywood coming very close no to, to, to Indian bad cricket. Behavior. Yes, Shailen. True. I, I agree with that, Shana. But... Rahul, I just have a point that if you go back in history, that BCCI actually found cricket uh, coming very close to Bollywood and, and Shah Rukh watched a match with Lalit Modi in Jaipur way before IPL. And BCCI actually had a mandate in writing that Bollywood will not be allowed to be present in any official BCCI box. This was a rule made. In three weeks later, Shah Rukh Khan owned the first cricket team of IPL. And since then, for five years, I think 90% of exposure that IPL gets is due to Bollywood celebrities. Having said that, MCA today has taken a lot of glory for this incident. Fair enough. Maybe this really happened. Shah Rukh crossed the line. But to ban Shah Rukh Khan, I mean, is it really the game plan of, of MCA and BCCI going forward? Is this going to work for IPL? I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's all about leadership. Somebody needs to take the bull by the horn. Somebody needs to stand up from BCC and IPL. So, Shailinder, and are you saying that Rajiv out, Shukla is doing a, a pathetic job? Yeah. Up. That Lalit Modi brought this upon us? Direct question. So, you're saying Rajiv Shukla doesn't know what he's doing, Shailinder? That Lalit <laughs> Modi brought this upon us. While he was there, things were still better. And now that Lalit <laughs> Modi is gone, so are you saying that Rajiv Shukla is not doing his job properly, Shailinder? No, okay. Should be leading this. You know, I'm going to go across the cell in there just a moment. I want to bring Dr. Swami because politicians seem to be at the root of it. You know, because the fact is, it's all a political war between Rajiv Shukla, between Vilas Rao Deshmukh, Mamta Banerjee. Everybody is in it for themselves. Everybody else is a scapegoat at the hands of politicians. Why? Well, then, therefore, the, you have a rule saying no politicians should be involved in this. It's a game. It's a first-class game. I've myself played it for my school and uh, for one year of my college. It's a superb game and this has been given a new uh, uh, dimension with the Sevags and Dhonis uh, have converted this from a lazy game into an active game and to 2020 is one of those inventions like the 50-50 was. So I, I, don't, I think uh, they, uh, I don't know whether it was Shobha or somebody else who said it, bring this back to cricket. What is this? No, but what is this? Uh, you have uh, Maggie, women yeah. uh, with the under panties showing, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, cheering uh, for four and six. They don't even know that because they come from Uzbekistan. They don't know anything about cricket. Now, they, why, have, do, why do you have that? This is to titillate. And I'm afraid that this seems to be uh, behind it. I know many politicians who visit hotel rooms after the match because the uh, patronage is necessary of politicians. You don't ask me to uh, reveal what I know about this game. This game stinks. It's against our national interest and certainly it is also against our country. So Shailendra, are you suggesting then that Lalit Modi has unleashed a genie which the current BCCI boss, Bras, uh, Bras Khan, seem to control? That he's taken off, he's in London, he's having a good time laughing, you know, mocking the whole situation. See, you guys can't even handle it. Are you then saying that Rajiv Shukla is not being able to do a proper job we when you keep questioning the leadership of the IPL? We don't want to handle Let's it. Let's be direct and straight it. here. No, I, no, I, I, I don't think I, I don't think I want to go there. But I think I want to just answer one question. But the gentleman. No, you must go there, Shailendra, because you're continuously you saying that the IPL leadership is not doing its job properly. Lalit Modi no, is the no, current no, IPL okay, leadership. Okay, Rahul, Rahul. Then Rajiv Shukla is the current IPL leadership. So you're suggesting okay. that he's not doing his job properly. Say, it. be direct, be frank. 
No, 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 Rahul, let me, let me make the valid point, and I've said this all, all, all along in BCCI. I personally believe that there is, there is a business of cricket to be done, and then there is cricket to be done.